Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics YouTube channel. In this video, let's see the content of Digital Design and Computer Organization subject that is BCS 302. That's for the third sem students. Let us look at the syllabus. So this is the syllabus copy for Digital Design and Computer Organization. You can see here the objective is to demonstrate the functionalities of binary number system and to explain the working of combinational and sequential logic system and to realize the basic structure of computer system and to illustrate the working of input output operations and processing unit. So by looking at these four objectives you can understand clearly the idea of bringing up this subject. So coming to module 1, module 1 is introduction to digital design. So here you will be studying binary logic, basic theorems of Boolean algebra and properties and how they are going to be used with Boolean functions and again digital logic gates and the kmap method for four variables and dot care conditions implementation using nand gate and nor gate the universal gates and hardware description language for these so with a simple circuit this is a very simple module one here it will be introduce you to the boolean algebra and how actually the boolean algebra is used in the digital design and with a hdl code Coming to module 2, module 2 is designing combinational logic and sequential logic. We need to understand the difference between combinational and sequential logic here and as the combinational circuits like binary adder, subtractor, encoder, decoders, multiplexers, these are the very important combinational logics we need to understand. That will be the first half of the module 2. And for them, HDL models we need to write for adder, multiplexer, encoder and also for decoders like that. So coming to the sequential logic again, the basic sequential circuits like latches and flip-flops and the storage elements are going to be discussed here. So module 1 gives the introduction to the digital system design and module 2 gives the idea of what is combinational logic and what is sequential logic and how we are going to handle those with HDL models, how we are going to design using Verilog. Coming to module 3, it is computer organization now, basic structure of computers we need to understand and basic operational concepts, how the bus structure will be and performance, coming to performance with the clock of the processor, uh, we have a performance equation depending on the uh, performance of the CPU and we need to understand clock rate and some performance measures. Then second half is machine instructions and programs, here the assembly code, how it will be written and for memory location and addressing how we are going to use those and uh, what is the instruction and how the instruction sequencing is done which are the addressing modes how the addressing modes are going to be used so these are the things come under module 3 this is an introduction to computer organization we can say coming to module 4 module 4 is of input and output organization accessing the input and output devices here the interrupts comes interrupt hardware enabling and disabling the interrupts and handling multiple devices direct memory access DMA and bus arbitration how we can allocate the bus for the multiple users speed size cost of the memory systems and cache memories and mapping functions so this is about the memory as well as the IOS coming to module 5 module 5 is basic basic processing unit and uh, here the register transfers uh, ALU operations the processing unit of the CPU will be discussed over here how the fetching a word from memory storing word in memory and execution of a complete instruction and how the different instructions are going to be pipelined in the CPU so these are the concepts present in module 5 so you, uh, this is a subject which contains practical component also uh, so you can see these are the uh, some designs with respect to very large HDL implementation. Uh, so there are eight sessions we have. The books you need to refer these two digital design with introduction to Verilog design and uh, computer organization from these two authors. And you can also go to this video lectures if you want to refer the e-resources. And uh, this is the digital design book with a digital design with an introduction to very large HDL. I will share the link of this book in the description of this video. You can download this book and you can refer to the first two modules with this. 
and coming to computer organization that is module 3 4 and 5 you can refer this uh, notes from a professor from some university i didn't get the pdf of the exact textbook which have which they have given in the syllabus so you can refer this so this easily covers the content of module 3 4 5 i guess and here in my youtube channel you can see a playlist which named the playlist which named ddco digital design and computer organization which covers almost first two modules over here and uh, starting from module 3 i am going to cover it now so let us see how we can understand module 3 4 5 in a simplest way so follow this youtube channel explore electronics for more videos thank you